Today, I want to do something a little bit different. I'm quite an opinionated person when it comes to sports, but football specifically, I have very strong opinions on who I think is in form and who is, well, trash. This week, I'm going to give my expert and professional opinion on what I think the final scores of each Premier League match will be. To add an extra layer of intrigue, I will get the opinions of the most highly sophisticated being on earth, AI or artificial intelligence. I will be prompting the AI to give me their assessment of the first five weeks and use that to try and accurately predict the final scores of the matches this weekend. At the end, we will see who's closer, the AI or me. If you like me and want to hang out with me, subscribe to the channel. Newcastle versus Manchester City. Unfortunately for Newcastle, Manchester City just dropped their first points of the year. They probably should have won against Arsenal at home, with the latter side having 10 men for a full half. Instead, they had to claw back points with a 98th minute equalizer from John Stones. I can't imagine they will drop anything heading into Newcastle. Newcastle have started the season pretty well, defeating some relegation favorite clubs, but they did get a win against Tottenham. I just don't see them keeping a pretty annoyed Manchester City at bay. My prediction, 2-0 City. The AI's prediction, 3-1 to City. Arsenal vs Leicester City Arsenal came off a game where they drew City in Manchester with 10 men for a full half. Arsenal's defense is one of the best in the world, and this past outing showed it. Although City did bottle some great chances in both halves, Arsenal will have a much easier match hosting newly promoted Leicester City at the Emirates. While Leicester have performed much better than I thought they would to start the season, I think going into London to take on the Gunners will be too tall a task for the Foxes. My prediction, Arsenal wins 3-1. The AI's prediction, Arsenal wins 2-0. Brentford vs West Ham United Two London clubs come head-to-head -head in a match that I find very interesting. Brentford have just 6 points and are sitting in 12th, but the Bees have surprised me thus far in the early campaign. They have had to face some tough competition, playing 3 of the big 6 clubs in the first 5 weeks and almost stole points from City. West Ham have also drawn some stiff competition to start and should probably be favored to win this match, but on the other hand, they have been less convincing than Brentford. I still think West Ham get it together and finish in the top 8, but it's still early and Brentford look like a tough out for any club right now. My prediction, 1-0 Brentford. The AI's prediction have West Ham and Brentford splitting the points 1-1. Chelsea vs Brighton Chelsea host Brighton at Stamford Bridge on Saturday, and I really have a tough time with this one. I really like Brighton and think their young skipper can really help them challenge for European spots but they have had a difficult time closing out some of the relegation favorite clubs. Chelsea have been better to start the season, which was to be expected. I think a lot of people were shocked that a bunch of very young players, all thrown together for the first time, weren't successful immediately. Given the time to adjust to the new culture and the tactical system of a new manager, Chelsea should continue to improve over the next couple of years. With that being said though, I think Brighton have something to prove here and both clubs come away with a point. My prediction is 2-2. The AI's prediction, Chelsea taking all the points in a 2-1 win. Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. I really love these two clubs who are going head to head. Nottingham Forest is such a gritty team and I think any given week they can win. As we saw them march into Anfield and take all three points like bank robbers. I think last year when they hosted Liverpool at home and almost held them to a draw, save for a 98th minute Darwin Nunez header, was when I realized this is a club that can test any club any week. On the other side of the coin here, Fulham travel north. Fulham gave me the exact same vibe last year as Forrest did. A tough, gritty club who can take your lunch money if you're not careful. Fulham smashing Tottenham at home last year made me want to root for this club, and for whatever reason, both of these teams seem to always be the underdog, so I like to root for them. 
Also, Adama Traore is just a jacked beef boy. My prediction, 1-1. AI's prediction, also 1-1. Everton versus Crystal Palace. This here might be the most evenly matched game on paper so far. Crystal Palace had all the way up north to take on Everton. Coming into this year, I was super high on the Eagles. I even predicted they would take a European spot. Well, to start, things have been slow. And it seems the departure of Michael Olise has had a much bigger effect than I initially thought it would. Palace have had some admirable showings of late, finally getting the better of Chelsea. If ever there was to be a week to get right, this is the one. Everton have been pretty solid to start the year as well. Uh, their point total doesn't say so, but last year it seemed impossible for the Toffees to buy a goal, but this year they've come a bit more freely. Dominic Calvert-Lewin seems to be reliably putting his chances away, even if it hasn't resulted in points on the board. Playing in front of an Everton crowd is tough for anyone, but I think Palace gets the better of the Blues and gets a road win. My prediction, 1-0 Crystal Palace. The AI's prediction, Crystal Palace win 2-1. Wolves versus Liverpool. The Wolves host Liverpool in our primetime matchup on Saturday. The Wolves have had a tough go of it to start the season, and hanging around at the very bottom of the table highlights that fact. Life under Gary O'Neill has not started off as fans have wanted. Defensive issues and big opportunities missed in the offensive third are the main reasons for their poor start. Liverpool, on the other hand, is adjusting very well to life after Klopp. Aside from a shocking home loss to Forest, Liverpool have been tactically sound and look to be even better than last year. It's still really early, but their bounce back win over Bournemouth was very impressive. My prediction, Liverpool continue to roll here, 3-0 victory. The AI predicts Liverpool with a 2-0 win on the road. Aston Villa vs Ipswich Town Two clubs that are near and dear to my heart. Aston Villa and Ipswich Town kick off the Sunday slate. Aston Villa have not looked like the top four club they finished last year as. Maybe it's just a great season's hangover, but Villa have routinely given up goals early and have had to claw their way back. Maybe that's a testament to their resilience on the pitch, but I would like to see a bit more dominance out of them, especially since they spent near the top of the Premier League in transfers this past window. On the other hand, Ipswich spent way more than I anticipated this past window, and I think the massive amount of new faces in the first team is throwing things off. I have high expectations for Ipswich, and I think given some time for all the new faces to familiarize themselves, Ipswich will roll a bit and comfortably avoid the relegation battle. This is one of those weeks I think Villa get right though, and take care of business with a victory at Portman Road. My prediction, 2-1 Aston Villa, the AI's prediction, Aston Villa 3, Ipswich 1. Manchester United vs Tottenham Manchester United hosts Tottenham in the primetime slot of Sunday's matches. This one is tough to suss out because both clubs have looked very good in some matches this year, and awful in others. I feel like the pressure is on both clubs already this year to start having some more success. Feels like a really important matchup that could have implications on the European spots come May. My prediction, 1-1. AI's prediction, a 2-2 draw. Bournemouth vs Southampton. Our final matchup of the week happens to be a Monday evening match. The Cherries host the Saints in what seems to be a very important matchup for Southampton. At this point though, really, any match that has the opportunity for a relegation favorite side to steal points is critical. The Saints also looked great up against the fast-paced Ipswich club this past weekend. In this moment, I just think Bournemouth are the better club all around. Bournemouth already have one of the greatest comebacks in Premier League history under their belt this early in the season, and I think they can score in such quick succession that Southampton will be overwhelmed. My prediction, Bournemouth wins 2-0. AI's prediction is a 1-0 win for Bournemouth. Here is the summary of the predictions. My picks, Man City beating Newcastle 2-0, Arsenal beating Leicester City 3-1, Brentford over West Ham 1-0, Chelsea and Brighton splitting the points at 2-2, Fulham and Forest splitting the points at 1-1, Crystal Palace stealing points on the road against Everton 1-0, Liverpool continues to roll over the Wolves 3-0, Aston Villa gets a necessary away victory over Ipswich 2-1, United and Tottenham share the spoils with a 1-1 draw, 
Bournemouth take care of Southampton at home 2-0. Here are the AI picks. Manchester City beats Newcastle 3-1. Arsenal beats Leicester 2-0. West Ham and Brentford split the points 1-1. Chelsea beat Brighton 2-1. Fulham and Forest split points 1-1. Crystal Palace beat Everton 2-1. Liverpool beat Wolves 2-0. Aston Villa beat Ipswich 3-1. United and Tottenham share the spoils 2-2. Bournemouth beat Southampton 1-0. I've got a good feeling about my picks, and I'm sure the AI really couldn't beat such a highly respected expert like myself. Let me know what you think. Are any of my predictions totally off base, or do you agree with my assessment?